18 pounds, 54 kilograms. Bobby Shannon of the USA against Sung Kil Moon of Korea. Bobby Shannon from Edmonds, Washington. 21 years of age in Moon, the same age, five, five and a quarter. So these two fighters about the same height. Coming in a, just about a pound apart, Al. And the USA has won 16 consecutive bouts so far in this Olympic tournament. It's an extraordinary winning streak, uh, whether the Cubans or Russians are here or not. <laughs> this should be an entertaining fight, Bob. Both these fighters like to brawl, they like to mix it up, and uh, they are the kind of fighters who often don't set things up, they just wing. Both fighters had buys in the first round of the draw in this division, the Bantamweight division. Shannon's first bout, last time out against Sami Mwangi of Kenya, won it unanimously, 5-0. Moon's opponent, John Hyland, had to retire in the third round. Bobby Shannon giving a lot of movement now, and uh, he wants to do that. They try, they want him to box more. He tends to brawl and leave himself wide open, and they really want to see him box a little more as he's doing right now. Our referee, Mr. Boucher, is from Ireland. Our judges from Italy, Morocco, Nigeria, Colombia, and New Zealand. Strong right by Moon, backs up Shannon. And you see Bobby Shannon now switch to the right-handed style. He will switch from time to time, and he's effective with it there. Dropping his hands, though, Al, dangerously. Way one down. Of, one of his traits, and it's something they really want to work out with him. It's one of the reasons why he does take so many punches. A free, wheeling first round, and... Shannon there gets a warning. Many people feel that on the inside, Moon has the advantage. He's a very strong, uh, he's got a strong upper body, and he will maul and brawl with anybody. Well, a chant that's filled a sports arena for all the boxing evenings and afternoons. USA, 16 straight victories, the longest streak so far of any Olympic nation in any games. Shannon, the number one ranked bantamweight in the world. Warning for the shoulder. And for him, a chance to get the medal that was denied him in 1980 when he made the Olympic team but couldn't compete, obviously, because of the boycott. And he remained an amateur for this opportunity. Warning for the push there. Moon scoring well with his right. Shannon missing with his left. They both score well to the head. Good action in round one. Shannon for a split second showed us a flash of orthodox style. Going back and forth, dropping his hands, a little bit of danger in his style. And Moon the slugger in this first round. Whether Shannon won this first round is open to debate. A lot of action through the first round. All right, now take a deep breath. If you would move a little slower... Bob Lee and Al Bernstein, action from the L.A. Sports Arena. Bantamweight class. Bobby Shannon of the USA on the white. Sung Kil Moon in the dark. And, well, Pat Nabby between rounds telling Shannon as he slips there to... Move slower and punch faster. It, it may sound like a contradiction, but basically it makes sense. If he stays put and throws some blows, he might begin to score, but Moon is hanging right in there with him. He's trying to settle Shannon down. Shannon had a fairly good first round, but he is not the most disciplined of the United States boxers, that's for sure, and he's showing some of that in this fight. On two occasions, he's gone from lefty to orthodox. Sung Kil Moon just plants his feet and wades right into the battle. Not everyone thought Robert Shannon would be back for a second uh, try at the Olympics. Uh, he had to beat world champ Floyd Favors to get into the Olympic competition. And he really came back after 1980 and 
show that he was a fine amateur. He's the only member of this 1984 team to repeat. A light flyaway back in 1980 from Edmonds, Washington. His mother was a big factor in keeping him as an amateur after the 1980 games and coming back for another shot at the Olympics in 84. Well, she wanted him to get a profession, which he did. He is a certified hairstylist and, in fact, uh, in the Olympic uh, Village has uh, practiced his trade on some of the uh, other boxers. That's right. Four of the other boxers have gotten a Bobby Shannon trim. And right now, Shannon has got his hands full against Sung Kil Moon. 119 pound class, the Bantamweights. Halfway through the second round. As a southpaw, there's the right hook by Shannon. The left lead has been really effective for him. His jab, however, Bob, has really been a pawing jab. I think uh, one area Bobby Shannon wants to improve is the jab. Almost a slow motion restart there by Shannon, but landed two blows. This could be a tough one to score the way they're just throwing hooks at each other and whether indeed the white portion and the eyes of the judges the white portion of the gloves are getting through and scoring moon got the better of that exchange and throws shannon down you know bobby shannon is trading hooks with moon and i really don't think that's what he wants to do in this fight he's landing some but he's taking some good shots also catnappy wants him to box a little bit more They both connect. It's been that kind of a crowd-pleasing fight, and Shannon tries to work the body. Good right hook by Shannon, but again, he is trading hooks and uh, not always getting the best of it. There's that straight left, though. And a standing eight count. Moon will take it. Shannon got through with that left. Another tough round to score. Moon walks right out with a lead, but stay at bay. That might be his best idea now, just to keep the points he's earned so far. And down he goes. A strong left hook by Moon in the final seconds of the second round. The count continues as Moon is backed up into a neutral corner, and. That is it in round two, so a knockdown either way. Let's go to the corner. Use the left hand. Shannon's got a brawl on his hands, and we'll have the final round in a moment. Throw it and get up. That straight left hand through, as Pat Nappy was telling him. Well, Moon's coming right in at him and landing a good right of his own and a good left-right combination. And Shannon, in a wild brawl, has to hold on. Shannon is in a brawl. He's trading punches with the Korean and. Uh, Moon is a lot stronger than him in terms of upper body strength. And maybe the worst thing to happen for Shannon, Bob, was to get that standing eight count. Now, that's when he thought he could go for a knockout. Shannon in a position now where he's got to counter punch because Moon is getting off first. In the hands of Shannon, very low, and that is right now his biggest problem. Staggered, went down to his left knee and got right back up and continues just to hold in there, but... Moon gets far the better of that exchange. Shannon again nearly lifted off his feet. He is in trouble here, and down he goes early in round three, the second time he's been down. Five, six, two, seven, the 16-match USA victory streak so far in this Olympic Games boxing tournament. That streak is in jeopardy. Sung Kil Moon. Has looked so very strong and resolute, just continuing to wade in, gets a right through there. Shannon extremely tired, not doing anything to stop Moon, and that may be it. That is it. The referee stops the contest. Referee Boucher from Ireland awards the fight to Sung Kil Moon. He could have given another standing eight count, but there was nothing really left in the punches of Bobby Shannon. Maybe not out on his feet, but certainly not nearly 100%, and Pat Nappy consoles him. 
I think the key there is that uh, Shannon wasn't firing back very well, and as you said, he was just so tired that there was no point really in letting it go on. 1.14, the official time. The referee stops the contest because of a head blow, which is a slight technicality under the Olympic rules. But in common terms, a TK Owen, Bobby Shannon acknowledging the home crowd. And for him, a four-year odyssey to try and get that Olympic medal has ended. But uh, he knows he came back and fought well, and getting into this Olympics was a victory for him. The referee stops the contest. Sung Kil Moon at 114 of the third round will advance into the fourth round of the Bantamweight class. Bobby Shannon, who dis decided to forsake the professional ranks after 1980, the first U.S. loser in this boxing tournament. The decision will be officially announced. The winner, referee stops the contest, head in the blue corner, Sung. Correction, red corner, Sung. Sung Kil Moon. His second stoppage, and he will have to be dealt with as this Bantamweight class moves on. More boxing in a moment. <laughs> 